Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the security file that is ir.modelaccess.csv. So if I go to the hospital management module, so I will go to my custom elements folder and here we have our open hospital. So recently I have just made some changes that is I have changed the module name as module development tutorials. You can see earlier it was hospital management. But recently I have changed to Odoo development tutorials and I have published this module in Odoo apps. So if you haven't yet you have not this code in your hand, you can just go directly to the Odoo app store and download the module and code from the store. So we'll come back to the topic. So what we are going to discuss in this video is regarding ir.modelaccess.csv. So if I go to the security folder, we have got the file ir.modelaccess.csv where we have used to set the access rights for the models we have used in our code. So after releasing that video, different people have inquired us that why should we give this name itself? That is why to specify the ir.modelaccess.csv. So if we give separate name like xyz.csv and if we call the same file inside the inside this manifest file that is here you can see in the manifest file we have called security slash ir.model.access.csv and we have defined that file here so people are asking why we should give this name itself whether we can try some other name like xyz.csv file like that so we have thought that we have just to make a video on the same so the naming convention is given because we have to give the name like this itself so i will explain why it has to be given like that so basically what we are doing using this file is we are uploading this data to the model so I'll just, if i go to the ui and if i activate the developer mode so i'll just activate the developer mode from the url by entering debug equal to in the url so if i go to settings and you can see where the access rights are existing technical then if i go scroll down you can see where is it security yeah it's here and we have, you know i have got model access csv this is the place where this data has been getting created so if i copy this access hospital lab and if i make search this here you can see it is here so all the records that we are creating all the lines that is all the data we are entering here is getting created in this table so if you check this table name so just click on here and if i click on edit list view you can see that the model name is ir.model.access so this is the name because so this is why we are giving the name like that so we are going to upload the data to this mode that is the model name is ir.model.access so that name is is right here ir.model.access.csv is that to upload the given data to the corresponding model so if you give the name like xyz.csv the data will get uploaded into that xyz model so currently if you have to take another model so if you take uh, some other model suppose if i take the groups this is for an example and the group name is you can see the model is rs.groups so if you give the name like rs.groups.csv the system will try to upload the given data into the rs.groups model so that's the concept of uploading data using a csv file so the reason behind we are giving ir.model.csv is we are going to upload the data to ir.model.access model that is it is security access right and if you check the model name you can see the model is ir.model.access so as you have to import the data to this model you have to, have to give the file name as model name.csv so that's all about uh, just prepared a video to clarify that thing so as we know we are in the python file so we are giving the name as per our need and calling the corresponding name in it file the same thing cannot be given or implemented for the security case we have to give the file name correctly that is model name.csv where we have to import the data suppose if you need to import the data to sale order you can change the format as per our need here you can see this is the field and we are mapping things to it that is first is for id the next value is for name the next is going to model id if you are uploading your data you can change this accordingly suppose in your if you are uploading to sale order you have id then if you want the customer you can give partner id like that you can change the first line and upload the data so hope you are hope the things are clear in this video 
if you have any queries or if you have any doubts don't hesitate to ask us you can do best you can directly contact us over the mail that is for the at gmail.com or you can connect us over different social media account so that's all about this video if you like our videos you can drop up this videos to your colleagues and also you can just subscribe the channel so that's all about this video thank you